October 31st Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 1 Peter chapter 5 from the New Testament So as your fellow elder and a witness of Christ's sufferings and as one who shares in the glory that will be revealed, I urge the elders among you, give a shepherd's care to God's flock among you, exercising oversight, not merely as a duty, but willingly under God's direction, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. And do not lord it over those entrusted to you, but be examples to the flock. Then when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger be subject to the elders, and all of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And God will exalt you in due time if you humble yourselves under his mighty hand by casting all your cares on him because he cares for you. Be sober and alert. Your enemy, the devil, like a roaring lion, is on the prowl looking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in your faith, because you know that your brothers and sisters throughout the world are enduring the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him belongs the power forever. Amen. Through Silvanus, whom I know to be a faithful brother, I have written to you briefly in order to encourage you and testify that this is the true grace of God. Stand fast in it. The church in Babylon, chosen together with you, greets you, and so does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. God, I pray for everyone today who is being tempted by the devil, who might be coming in like a roaring lion and trying to distract and and devour and lead people away from the faith. But I would say for the most part, he rarely is a roaring lion in, in my life. He's very subtle because the world has gotten to the point now where he really doesn't have to do a lot of work. The world is very enticing, very sparkly. All of the things that were promised constantly saturated by everywhere we look is all of his work. And so all he has to do is make sure that we turn on the TV or log on to the internet or drive down the road and see billboards or even speak to our peers and hear them vocalize what is expected in the society of us what what is beautiful what is success god i pray for everyone today not so much to be protected from a roaring lion although of course i pray for that but god i really pray for them to be protected from the little quiet mouse that just comes into a life you barely hear it And suddenly you live existing with this mouse in your house. And pretty soon you don't even notice that it's there. That it's just become part of your life. God, help us today to recognize how many sinful and evil things that we are choosing in this world. How many idols we're choosing in this world that we don't even think about anymore. It's not even a decision of yes or no. It's just something we've accepted into our life. And... It's become a habit. It's like breathing to us. It's so ingrained in our life to include that that evil idol in our life that we don't even think of it as evil until somebody else points it out. Are we coming home from work and flopping down in front of the TV and filling our head with all sorts of things that shouldn't be there? Are we at work laughing at the inappropriate jokes and participating in inappropriate conversations that are so different than the ones we're willing to have with our our friends at church on Sunday. God, show us the things that we have just accepted into our life as everyday actions. It is so scary to me to look at my life and realize how many things are just there already. And, And trust me, it's not that I'm not trying to take responsibility or avoid responsibility for them. 
but it truly is scary how many things are in my life and I honestly don't remember ever intentionally making a decision yes or no but yet here they are and they are part of my everyday life and in order to get them out of my life it seems like such a big deal because they have become such an integral part of my life an integral part of me God help us with that I do pretty well dealing with the roaring lions the really obvious things that come into my life but the things that are already here are the things that come in very quietly into my life those seem to be the things I miss or the things that are so accepting by society so why wouldn't I accept them also sometimes you just get worn down by people telling you things again not using it as an excuse but that's part of that quietness that happens God, allow us to have your strength in our lives to stop those things. And then next, have your discernment in things to understand what is already in our lives that we're just already accepting of that we don't even think twice about. Perhaps it's how we talk to our wife. Perhaps it's how we choose to spend our free time. Whatever it is, God, help us. Help make those things so incredibly uncomfortable to us that we realize that intentionally we need to remove them from our lives if we are truly going to walk in your path. Right before then, Peter's talking about how you oppose the proud but give grace to the humble. And the only way we can humble ourselves is by removing the things that are not of you. God, allow us today to really take a look at our lives Pay attention to every moment of our lives and are we doing things that you would approve of if you were standing right here next to us, which technically you are, or would you have a frown on your face as we went through our day and certain things we looked at online, certain things we said to friends, certain things we participated in entertainment. Help us understand how accepting we have become of those idols in our life, of those sins in our life. God, the only roaring lion I want in my life is you. A voice so loud that I can easily follow it with my next step and my next step. In your son's name I pray. Amen.